As the world starts to reopen, some people are realizing they actually like working from home. It's estimated only about a quarter of workers have returned to the office in Milwaukee. Fox 6's Cassidy Williams has been looking into what this could mean for the heart of downtown. I started this soup this morning. Mitz Erickson has made a lot of soup over the years. Actually, the very last soup I'm making is a soup I have never made before. And just because it was the last one in the pile, I guess. It's taped together even. The coconut curry recipe clipped out of a newspaper years ago by her mother, then lost in the shuffle of a busy business. Every day this dining room would be full and turn over again. And this is only in like a three hour period. We've got to see people get married, have babies. Mitz co-owns the soup house with her daughter Ruby. Surrounded by office buildings in downtown Milwaukee, they were selling out of soup nearly every day until March 2020. Just like that, everything shut down and everybody was gone. You know, it was like a ghost town down here for almost a year. Milwaukee is opening up, but that doesn't mean people are coming back to work. There were a lot of things that we didn't like about being in an office and sitting in a cubicle all the time. Aaron Bloom is the head of culture and community at Aquint. The staffing company used to have an office inside the city center along Water Street. Aquint letting its lease run out, making work from home permanent. After a couple of months, we realized we were spending a whole lot of money on wasted office space because people were thriving from home. Aquint merely one example of change downtown, available space just part of the skyline. It's estimated only around 25% of workers have returned to the office, but Beth Weirich with Milwaukee's downtown district is optimistic, expecting around 50% to return by the fall. We're all looking at September as a really big comeback time, not only here in Milwaukee, but my colleagues across the country. Thanks for being our customer all these years. Thanks a lot, good luck. Milwaukee's comeback, not quick enough to save the soup house. Mitz and Ruby serving that last pot of coconut curry on April 29th. Who's ready? After 21 years in business, deciding it's time to move on. The whole thing was exhausting. All the back and forth, the loans, the are the people coming back, aren't they coming back? The frustration of all of it is just taking a toll where it's just like, Maybe it's just something saying it's just your time is done, you know. I drove down here from West Bend. Awesome. Oh, wow, that's a good drive for you. Well, thank you. We appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, we'll miss you. We'll miss you too. Loyal customers lined up outside to get a final taste. You can see it coming. I mean, we've been downtown since June, but a lot of offices haven't. So um, it's really sad to see a place that's been kind of a staple of downtown employees leave. One by one soups. Okay. Selling out. Thank you very much for coming in. Only around an hour after opening. As a last bowler. Snapping a photo with the very last customer, capturing the final chapter for the soup house. The Ericsons hoping one day someone else will find success at the corner of Michigan and Milwaukee. I think if people come back to work, I think it'll revitalize again, but I don't really see that for at least a couple years. How many years it'll take? unclear and the Ericsons can't afford to wait. Definitely out of the soup game for now. With photojournalist Jade Birch, Cassidy Williams, Fox 6 News. Mm, they had a good run. The soup looked good too. Well, especially